is Hamilton and this is a potting bench that I just built. It is 12 feet long, about 2 feet wide, and 28 inches tall. So I built this for my wife. She loves messing around in the garden and everything and kind of everywhere she goes she leaves a pile of dirt. So I made sure that it was 28 inches tall and that is her working height. If you need to measure your working height, just make sure you stand up, put your hand right down next to your leg, and then measure up to your knuckles. Mine is about 31 inches and hers is about 28. That's because I'm about a foot taller than her. So on this, we have a sink so that she can put pots down in there and then get all the dirt in one place. I've got a rain barrel that I still have to hook up to a gutter so that we can have rain collection out here. And then I've got an extra shelf underneath where she can store all the extra Home Depot pots and stuff before she puts them in other things. What I've got into this is about $300. You can do it for way cheaper than me. So the sink itself is probably around 50 bucks, the rain barrel around 100, and then this for around 150. If you wanted, just call up a deck builder around you. They are tearing decks down all the time and they have to pay to throw that away. They'll gladly give it to you for free. So for me, nothing on this is pressure treated. I went super cheap with everything. I painted it and then I did a clear coat. The top seal on this is actually a concrete sealer. It's one of the only things that Home Depot sold that was recommended to use over paint. If you're doing this, don't use outdoor polyurethane over paint or anything like that. It's just gonna crack up and it's gonna be real bad. But over this video, I'll show you how I built it as well as a few tips and tricks to make sure that when you're using non-pressure treated wood, it's not gonna rot out and use fast. And yeah, thanks for watching. This is just a little bit of a demonstration of what happens if you don't coat the bottom of your two by fours when they're in contact with the ground outside. There's going to be water and it's gonna rot out. Here's a time lapse. That was only like a five minute time lapse. So I highly recommend whether you're using pressure treated or non pressure treated to get some type of paint. If you're going out to buy something that flex seal stuff will work great for this. So just taking the time to paint the end grain of your pieces, make sure you get a nice heavy coverage all over it, and you're gonna see how quickly this actually soaks into the wood. As an extra layer of protection, I'm gonna be drilling a hole right in the middle of every single one of my four by fours, and I'm gonna be putting one of these stainless steel furniture feet into it. What that's gonna do is it's gonna rise the block of wood off the ground a little bit, and it's just gonna be this in contact with the ground. That's gonna help it so that that is still not sitting in the water, but if any water for some reason works its way up, I'll have coated the inside of the hole with this same paint, and hopefully that'll make these last a lot longer. So now it's just about prepping the space. So this is old silicone that was put down to make sure the water wasn't rushing into the house. I've got a problem in my basement because of that. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking this tool, knocking off all the old silicone, 
and then putting silicone back down. This is a great tool and I'll put a link in the description if I can find something similar to it, but it's heavy duty. It's nice for knocking dry wood glue off stuff and things like this. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this content, I'm going to be doing woodworking as well as things around the house. Uh, pretty much just anything that I'm up to, I film it to make sure that I actually complete the project. This was a super fun one, and I hope the wife likes it as much as I do. Thanks.